YouTube, how the heck you doing? I'm doing great and I hope you are too. Thought I'd give you a little break from the unboxings and reviews I've been doing and go a little bit back to where I did a uh, kind of comparison to the uh, Canon 6D camera that I've been uh, using for many years, the full frame camera that I have here and the new EOS RP full frame that I picked up recently. You can see that video at the end of this one here. I'll have leave a link and I'll also leave a link down below. But what I wanted to do was kind of do a little head-to-head -head comparison, uh, not as far as the specs and everything, because uh, this one was released back in, uh, the 6D was released back in September 2012. Uh, runs about 20.2 megapixels. And on the processor itself, it's like the uh, Digic uh, 5, I believe, back then. So it's been a good camera. Full frame gives me a lot of good uh, pictures. But the, the recent one I picked up here, the RP, released uh, back in March of 2019, so it's a little old already. Uh, has the uh, megapixels at 26.2, so we got a little bit more megapixels to work with. And the Digic processor is up to 8, so these two are going to go head to head with me, and I'm going to bring those to you in different scenarios. Like I said uh, previously in the review, I got different uh, lenses. I got the macro lens, 100 millimeter. I got the kit lens that came with my 6D, that's the 24 to 105. Uh, that's a prime lens, so that's a good lens. Got your basic 50 millimeter lens here uh, with the uh, 1.4 uh, aperture on it, so we'll see what we can do with that. Then we have the offbeat one by Rokinon. It's our, my 14 millimeter 2.8 aperture that I have. Uh, wanting to do some night photography and stuff, so we're gonna compare those two with all four of these lenses. Uh, are the EF mounting, which I did have to uh, get the adapter for the RP camera here so that I can use all those that I currently have on there. I haven't gone out and got an actual RF lens yet for this camera. Price is one of them, but I do have a good collection of what uh, currently I have in EF lenses, so if I can transition those over, get good quality out of them, that's all I'm looking for. So let's see what we can do with these as far as a little head-to-head with the RP against the old 6D seven year difference so can it make a huge difference in what will come out of these cameras uh, they say it's not the camera that makes a picture it's the person that takes it or how you approach your photography so we'll see how that is I may have to do a little cheating on the 6D by using the Magic Lantern software to get a few more features that the RP brings to the table now that the 6D did not when it was originally introduced back in 2012 so stick around for that like I said down in the comments let me know what you'd like to see product photography outdoor photography uh, just whatever your uh, street photography whatever is floats your boat whatever you'd like to see me get out there and do I'll try to bring that in the weekly maybe bi-weekly session still gonna bring you other features and everything like unboxing and get back into the photoshopping of the photos that we're doing so I hope you're going to enjoy this new feature that I'm going to bring to you with the 6D and the RP as a head-to-head -head feature. See what we can bring to you guys. Give you a little uh, background on what uh, you really need to get out of your camera. Both these are full frame, so I won't get any uh, difference in that. But Digic Processor, Megapixel Density is a little bit different. But overall, uh, the electronics have been stepped up, obviously. But we'll see what we can do. So hope you'll enjoy it. Catch you on the first one. Be safe out there, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.